I actually did a video on her recently where she was talking to a guy named Charleston White. You can't be out here doing OnlyFans and then trying to be a nurse as a side quest. Are you a riffraff or a street rat? Huh? Wait, I was just wondering, was that supposed to be funny or no? Yeah, but I think it went over your short king head. You're literally fat. You look so pretty. You're supposed to say I ate. Oh. Damn, bitch, you been eating. Why would you say that, Jackson? I don't know. You told me to, told me to say it. That's what you said. That's what you said. Why would you say that? You think I'm fat? That's what you said. Good. What would you do if your kids were fat? i let them be fat. I would not instill an eating disorder in them and encourage them to, like, lose weight or whatever. Why do some parents do that? Because they're trying to, like, form to societal standards. Obesity is an eating disorder, too. In Jesus Christ, he's my Lord and Savior. I have no problem proclaiming that. So why do you have a link to your exclusive content? What are you having, Bible studies on there? <laughs> and under a Bible verse? Now that's wild. Here, I've got a verse for you. 1 Timothy 2.9. I also want the women to dress modestly with decency and propriety. Dang, <laughs> that's tough. Excuse me, miss. Pink jacket. These are for you. Oh, okay, yeah. But they're not for me. They're, not. they're from somebody special. Okay. They want a relationship with you. You want to know who it is? Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. You can have it. Why? Is it, they gave him from Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm taken. By who? The devil, so... You're taken by the devil? Yeah, I'm taken by the devil. Jesus can fill you with love, joy, and peace. The devil already does that for me. Nothing is hell sacred. Even if I'm not religious, I'm not gonna disrespect a religious person for doing a nice gesture. And I'm not gonna go too far into religion, but I was having a conversation with one of my friends recently, and the topic somehow got to religion, and he said that he could never be a Christian because Christians are too pushy with their religion. And I said, you gotta be biased because every religion pushes their religion, and if you don't think that every religion pushes their religion, then you never met a Muslim. Not only that, but if you look at it from a religious person's perspective which i believe is the best way of understanding and if you look at it from a religious person's perspective they believe that they're saving your soul and even if you don't agree with that if i had the ability to save someone's soul i would try to save as many people as possible that would be my religious duty so outside of you believing that it's just annoying they're doing their duty and i think it's a net positive for the world my dad subscribes to your only fans. Yes. Fuck yeah. yeah! Your dad is subscribed to my only fans? Yeah, he jerks off to your shit like every day. Wow. Oh my god. Dad, dad. Oh, you're over here. <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you not gonna say anything about the amount of food that you have on your plate versus how I have like no food on my plate? No, I assume that was intentional. Why would that be intentional? I, I just assumed you were trying to lose a few pounds. Why would you assume that? I, because you put less food on your plate than on my plate. I thought that was like portion control. Do I need portion control? I don't know. If you're trying to lose weight, probably. I, I like you thicker. You know that. So what do you I, mean by thicker? Like, what the fuck does that mean, thicker? Like, thicker? I, I like you thicker. What does that mean? Thicker. Like, like thicker. It's a good thing. Do no, it's it. not. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I assumed you were trying to lose weight. I. Not saying you need to lose weight. I'm not. Yes, saying, you are saying that. I'm not saying it. It would hurt if you lost some weight, but. What does that mean? It wouldn't hurt if I lost. I mean, weight. it wouldn't hurt, especially if that's what you want to do. But I'm not telling you to lose weight. So you're not telling me, but you're <laughs> saying that it wouldn't hurt if I lost weight. No. I'm, what does that comment mean? Like, what does what the fuck does that comment mean? I mean, like, like, like I mean, you could tighten a little. Tighten. Mm hmm. Just think of the weight you're at now, and like, be at that weight, but subtract some pounds. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm playing. I'm, Are I'm, you I'm, fucking kidding me right now? I'm just trying to eat my food. I. Do you want more of this? No, food? you know what? No. So there was a girl on here and she gave her husband like a bigger portion and then it didn't matter what weight she was at. He switched food or he like gave her food and he fixed it because that's what a husband does. Was she thicker too? Good afternoon, Julia. You know my pronouns are they them. How are you doing? Yeah. Um, thank you for telling me your pronouns. I use correct grammar. So the only, only thing I would need to refer you to is for, to your face would be you. But I'm, I'm not being rude. You can choose your pronouns. You can choose what you want to call yourself. But you don't have a, you don't get to require me to use incorrect grammar and factually incorrect things. You're not a plural. You're a, you're a, you're a one person and you're a, you're a female person. So I will use she and her. Thank you very much. Do what you like, I guess. Well, there you are. You didn't need to tell me then, did you?
Maybe I'm just making sure people know in case they're watching and they want to refer to me respectfully. Is it disrespectful for me to use correct factual grammar? It's not incorrect or unfactual grammar to use singular they them pronouns for an individual. But we're here to talk about the cast review. Yeah, but but you but you chose but you chose to bring it up. You chose to use the incorrect pronouns for me. I That's chose to use the correct pronouns for a single woman who is appearing on my show. I'm not a single woman, though. I'm a very special non-binary trans person, as you just pointed out. I, I didn't really just point that, that out. The crowd. I didn't just point that out. I introduced you as a journalist and a virgin radio presenter. No, just before I came on, you were talking about how people with all these labels like mm. to be special. And I'm just making sure that everyone knows I'm special. OK, I'm not special. I'm just a boring old heterosexual married woman. But, you know, so yeah, if you want to be delusional, be delusional in your own time. But expecting everybody in the world to feed into your delusion is crazy. Does that look like it's going to fit? Uh... <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> it fits. It fits who? <laughs> me. <laughs> it stretches, I swear on my it, life. It wouldn't even cover my nipples. Yeah. Ethan, stretch it out and show him. I'm not kidding. It's stretchy. Look at it. You will never wear that. <laughs> Mom approved it. It stretches. You know what? You will Do you never, want me try it on for you? No, you will never wear that. <laughs> Ethan, this is your job too now, big guy. Know, yeah, I yeah. It, I swear in my life, I have a picture of it. How it's... much more stupid stuff like that is was in there? None. That Black women do, are yeah. doing much better and in much in better what? positions than black men. And statistically speaking, How are they doing we're than not black living. We're starting more businesses. We're getting more degrees. We're making money. Like we're doing all of the are things. The most evicted in the entire United States. So all y'all with all that, I'm independent. I don't need no man. We're the smartest. No, it's not working. Y'all getting evicted left and right because y'all refuse to say help me. And that's why I say women are children because they are too bold and too arrogant to say things like help me because a lot of y'all run around dating your sons not your own sons but dating dudes and you mommying the dudes and next thing you know you run around feeling good about yourself because you're dominant over the man that you're dating and he can't help you and that's one of the reasons why y'all don't think y'all can ask for help because every dude you date is somewhat of a loser or <laughs> or uh, younger than you or some type of childish dude I'm not trying to knock anybody hustle here, but 85% of black female businesses are sole proprietor businesses. And sole proprietor businesses make on average from five to $12,000 a year. So to say that black women on average are doing better than black men because they have businesses is just factually not true. Also, you don't build communities through having sole proprietor businesses. You build communities through having a strong blue collar working class that can support the businesses in the community. So before the black community talks about building businesses, we need to start building families. And instead of competing against each other, each other black men and black women need to work together let me know in the comments below if this video was a wrl and give me the hbo special that's a helpful brother out special hit the like and the subscribe button for more content till next time